John Julius from Hyannis. Good evening, fellow counselors. The last time I came here a couple of weeks ago, I tried to correct a mistake. Somebody told me I was confused. No, I'm not confused. The woman who called me confused is confused. And so are you guys if you don't believe that the correct map and parcel on the TIF should be 314024. So please somebody make that correction before this goes to the state. Uh, let me remind the council of something. December 2nd, 1999, General Ordinance Amendment, 00-050. That was an amendment that called for all of the meetings in this town to be televised. Why is it that 48 hours ago, the school committee had a meeting and it's nowhere to be found? You're our government. I'm going to ask somebody here to fix that. Get that publicly up for the people in this town and the parents to see. This is supposed to be an open government open that's your own general ordinance lastly the airport lease i'm here again there's a lawsuit in federal district court a rico the rectrix trial about to come down the pike i've asked time and again for somebody here to look at this lease to see if it can be broken and somebody should ask we have four attorneys on this council one of you four attorneys if not somebody else, should ask the three attorneys on the airport commission why they re-signed that lease at $60,000 a year. Here's an opportunity for this town to go after those airport revenues, and trust me, I, I'm, I've been spending weeks putting together a, a very lengthy packet going to U.S. Attorney Michael Sullivan, and I have my own agenda that I'm going to try to take care of. But in the meantime, I'm respectfully asking that at least one of the four attorneys here ask the three attorneys on the airport commission why they re-signed that lease for $60,000 a year when by virtue of one counselor's own admission here at $3 a square foot, over a million and a half square feet should be bringing in somewhere between 3 and $4 million, and it's bringing in 60000 you don't see the inequity here? I've had two local attorneys say to me in the last five weeks, John, you're absolutely right. And they're wondering yep, the same thing. Seconds, they're wondering the same thing I'm wondering. So I'm going to come back here again next week and ask if somebody has asked the questions that I'm asking. Thank you. Um, if I might, we're going to have council response to public comment. I would like to say that um, in response to one of our speakers earlier with regard to the um, parcel number, he was correct. We do have a resolution or um, with regard to um, the changing of that number so that it will reflect the correct assessor's map 324 parcel number 024-002, and that will come up later on. Thank you. Mr. Vice President. Um, and thank you, uh, Mr. President, for um, informing uh, the individual uh, who happens to be John Julius, who is a neighbor and a member of my precinct, uh, and he was correct on that point he made about the parcel number, and I apologize because I was remiss. I was the closest counselor to the map. I should have got up out of my seat and checked the map, and then we could have fixed it right at that moment, and I should have done that, and I didn't. Um, just a, a couple points on other uh, things that were said. Um, I don't know anything about the uh, meeting that was mentioned during public comment relative to schools, and actually it would have been a lot more effective to ask that while the school folks were still here. Um, so I don't know what the answer is. Maybe we can put that through to the assistant town manager. Um, but it was brought to my attention, um, both through staff and through constituents and some other channels, that recently our ordinance that we passed, a council prior to this one, I was a member of that particular council about eight, nine years ago, says that every board and commission in this town must be televised, period. And albeit the staff at the airport is not under town management, 
the airport commission is still a board or commission in this town so even though they have this exemption in the charter relative to aspects of their authority they are still a board of commission and they're still subject to that ordinance that says they must be televised it was brought to my attention that recently the chairman of the airport commission mr santos ordered the videographer who was going to be at their meeting to not come this happened to be the meeting where they hired um, uh, Bud uh, Brial to be their new airport manager. Um, I find this behavior rep reprehensible. Uh, as an elected official, we are the elected leaders of the town. We passed this ordinance. It's the law of the land. It's a very simple ordinance. And why a chairman of a particular board, this in this case the airport, would order our staff in this building to not attend their meetings so that it would not be televised because he just felt that it was not necessary is really there should be something from this council going back to that chairman uh, to at least reprimand that behavior so I would make that request um, and hopefully leadership would see to it that that would be a good idea and if they don't at the next meeting I'll make a motion to do just that um, and I wanted to uh, <clears throat> excuse me I wanted to address uh, the same speaker that Councilor Milne mentioned uh, his comment regarding the the lease uh, with the Kmart property, and we had a fairly detailed presentation by uh, the attorney who represents the airport, Mr. Uh, uh, Gilmore, and Mr. Gilmore addressed the terms of the lease and that the fact that the term uh, that the lease was not up was not up for renewal. The, the airport commission did not sign a renewal. It is a built-in automatic renewal extension of the lease unless the lease was in default. I think I remember uh, Mr. Gilmore saying, and I think we were f f uh, provided with copies of the lease. I got it. I read it. The lease did not expire. They did not re renew the lease. The lease is an automatic renewal, and I, I hope that's clear because, I mean, that's come up 15 times, I think, now at least. Uh, 2009-072 appropriation and transfer order for the Hyannis water supply system ordered that the sum of 378,000 be appropriated for the purpose of funding the preliminary design of a new water storage tank within the water distribution system for the Hyannis water supply system and to meet this appropriation that 378,000 be transferred from the mitigation funds received by the town from the MTBE lawsuit and that the town manager is authorized to contract for and expend the appropriation made available for this purpose and be authorized to accept any grants or gifts in relation thereto. Second. Motion 2009-067, everyone should have that. Councilor Crocker. This is the uh, effort to correct the mistaken map and parcel. It reads as 209-067, authorization of a tax increment financing agreement. I would read the resolve that the above reference res uh, resolution approved by the Town Council at its meeting February 26, 2009 is hereby amended by striking the reference to the Bonsville Assessor's Map 312, Parcel 39, and substitute 31, excuse me, and substitute, therefore, the Bonsville Assessor's Map 324, Parcel 024-002, in all other respects, the resolution of uh, February 26, 2009 is ratified and confirmed. Does anyone need to do the rationale? We all understand. <laughs> Correct the Scribner's error, sir. Thank you very much. All in favor of the resolution? That's unanimous, Madam Clerk.